All right, Shalom. 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 We the brothers from the gym, that's New Orleans, coming back at you with another quick lesson. Prior to getting started, as we always do, we like to give infinite honors and prayers to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekabodash. And my honors to the elders and apostles of Green Millstone, salutation to the Agam that's pushing the truth and sincerity. Lord willing, this video be at our first and foremost to the whole for elect, get to those that cleave to the body. And I got a quick lesson today on the Lord have a unique way of blessing the righteous. Because what we have to understand with the Lord, he's unorthodox, all right? And the way that he do things is not according to the way we think or the way that we uh, look at things, all right? So, for one, the Lord have set up the wicked for the righteous to understand what he have in store for them. And then he have set up the, 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 the righteous to let the wicked know that they shall, uh, they shall be subject under them and what? Also what? Uh, have... And they'll also have them in domain, all right? But the whole goal right now is to just prove that we shouldn't be envious at the wicked in no way, mm. all right? Because the Lord is all vanity at the end of the day, right? We see people prosper that don't serve the Lord. You got uh, moles. You brothers yeah. should be familiar with moles. Yeah. You got moles doing better than men that actually serve the Lord. And what I mean by doing better, they're not actually doing better in the spirit. They're doing better in the flesh, mm -hmm. all right? And sometimes Jake put stake into his flesh, all right, which caused him to long and, and, and basically his thoughts starts to suffer, right? Mm -hmm. They start to what? He started to depress him. They started making, making him think, whereas I'm really serving the Lord, is this really worth it? But the, this that we do is a long-term goal, all right? Though yet it feel long, it should be short. Our success is coming shortly, so don't be envious of the wicked when you do sin. But give me that um. Want to say something? Yeah, because you made a point. They might, they may be rich with uh, material know, things, material things, uh -huh. materialistic things, but we rich in spirit. Yeah. So it's really, if we really winning at the end of the we day. Winning. But I, I got that. Uh, yeah, you know, sometimes that'd be a dark cloud for Jake. If you may, some men just may not understand this. You know, this yeah. and this to whom it may concern. All right, if you just don't understand, like, wait a minute, I'm serving the Lord. But though, yeah, you got somebody that break every law he have, all right? But, but though, yeah, he's in front of me. Because mm -hmm. sometimes Jacob tend to put the things that are, like we went into last week, that are temporal or that, you know, temporary as things that are, that are what, everlasting. And then mistake the everlasting thing for the things which are temporary, man. Right? Which that's a vanity. It's a lot but you shouldn't even, we shouldn't even be in that kind of spirit because we, we know here we have no continuous city. But we what? We have no continuing city here. But we what though? After we don't have the continuing city, we seek one to come. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Right? Gone. So that, no, that's a good point that you brought out, right? Here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. Mm -hmm. So the people who ruling, do they know according to Job 14 and 5 that the Lord have given them bounds that they can't pass? You see? But though yet they're ruling as a king, all right, there's bounds that they can't pass. But give me that... um. And so, I mean, and Ecclesiastes 8 and 4. You, you got yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Come on, go ahead. I'm going to read it in another. Uh, mm -hmm. to you. Go ahead. Uh, this Ecclesiastes in the Bible, chapter 8, verse 14. There is vanity which is done upon the earth. Mm -hmm. That there be just man. Just, just men. Salakia. That there be just men unto whom it happened according to to the work of the wicked. Now let's deal with that. It be just men uh, unto whom it happened according to the work of the wicked. Now what's supposed to happen to the wicked? Destruction, mm -hmm. right? Punishment. A demise, punishment, a downfall. Judgment. But it said be just men, judgment, right? Uh, unto whom it happened according to the work of the wicked. Mm -hmm. As if they work in the wicked work, right? But we know this is a righteous thing that doesn't pay off right now. All right, but keep going. I'm gonna say again. Come on. It says again. There be wicked men. It be wicked men now, right? Because it be just men was the first time. Go ahead. To whom it happened according to the work of the righteous. So it be wicked men according to the work of the righteous. So you got the elites that's sitting back with them. They got all the real food, right? They got all the real money, cattle. They got uh, 
they stand in these high places, lofts, right? Uh, they not, you know, it's basically they are not suffering anything. Okay. So it be a uh, wicked man to whom it happened it, to whom it happened according to the work of the righteous. All right, who have stored up treasures? They got gold, silver, right? All the finer things. It says what though? I say that this is what. It says. I said that this is also, I said that this also is vanity. Yep. So in the NLT it says, and this is not at all, and this is not at all that is meaningless in our world. And this life, good people are often treated as though they were wicked, and the wicked people are often treated as though they were good. This is so meaningless, right? <laughs> and the reason why it has no meaning to it, because... The wicked is not going to reign forever, all right? The, the poor will reign in their stead, okay? The, so it's going to be what? Flipped upside down. That's why it's meaningless now. But what means something to Jake here are tangible things. The intangible things are what should, what should drive you, Jake. Intangible, all right? Tangible things are things that's nothing reach, touchable, feel, you know, things you can get in, in your, in your grabs and fingertips. But the intangible things, the wicked is not going to touch those. Go ahead. Yeah, because those are the things that's temple. So we we not laboring for the things that are temple. We labor we laboring for the things that are eternal. And so at the end of the day, like once again, we rich in spirit, and we seek a kingdom to come. So we not worrying about you know the riches that is a uh, 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 reaching a certain status in the world yep. because it's it's soon going to all come to an end. And, uh, the rules going to be reversed. Yeah, we can't. We can't follow suit of the wicked here. All right? We shouldn't even desire nothing here like that. Because it's all going to be moth-eaten, rusted. All right? So why even uh, uh, pray or desire things in a manner in which you can receive here? Now, we do need things that will continue. All right? Yeah. Right? It's, That's it's it. it. So it says, therefore, to be what? Content. All right? You know. For, for the things that you have, all right? I paraphrase that. That's in Philippians. But, uh, you, you know what I'm saying? I have the Proverbs. Oh. Uh, I still got the, got the song. Uh, give me, I'm going to read this, Jeremiah 12 and 1. It says, Righteous are thou, O Lord, when I plead with thee. Yet let me talk with thee of thy judgments. Wherefore, do the way of the wicked prosper? Wherefore, are all they happy that deal very treacherously? It's question marks. All right? They deal very treacherously. Are they happy? Really, they understand, too, how the Lord will. They know that they got to, that the Lord have a target for them. All right? Or uh, a point in time that they should fall. All right? That they should come out of their power according to the book of Joel, the book of Edris, the book of Daniel. All right? We can go on and on. Song. All right? The book of Joel. All the books over dire. It uh, speaks about the fall of the wicked. All right. So he, uh, Jeremiah is asking a question here, along with, uh, and Edris asks, Lord, if the world was made for our sakes, mm -hmm. how long would this endure? Yeah. Like, how, how long would they be over us? We have to mm -hmm. probably get that. It says, Thou has planted them, yea, they have taken root. So the wicked have taken, taken root here. All right. They grow, yea, they bring forth fruit. Fruits of righteousness, dead fruit, twice plucked up, dead. So, I mean, they bring forth fruits of unrighteousness, which really, their fruits is going to what? Corrupt and uh, uh, rot out eventually, yeah. you see? So their fruit, the fruit of the wicked, is not really fruit, all right? If they be multiplied, matter of fact, uh, you got the Proverbs 29. Yeah. It says if, if the wicked is multiplied, mm -hmm, you, you got it? Yeah. Yep, go ahead. Proverbs 29 and 16 it says when the wicked are multiplied, mm -hmm. transgression increases. So when they fruit, when the wicked fruit is increased, what happens? Transgression increases. Transgression increase. So they, they bring forth the fruit of the works of death. You see that? Which, that's really no fruit there, but you're going to have many join them to it because they believe that this is the fruit of life. Uh, Seeing a man prosper with carnal things, they, they think that, okay, the Lord have to be working with these people. All right? 
But we understand the other side of things. We're looking at the spiritual aspect. Go ahead. It says, but the righteous shall, shall, shall like it. But the righteous shall see their fault. And this is what it's about. So the Lord got a unique way of blessing the righteous, man. Mm -hmm. All right? He got a unique way of blessing the wicked. He got them believing that their houses shall what? Last That's forever. <laughs> That's not so. All right? He got a unique way of blessing the righteous and the wicked. Because believe it or not, right now the wicked, they could consider themselves blessed. Right? Because, you know, have the wine last. Right? They was blessed for a second. We're going to be blessed forever. That's all. You know, hey, part of their blessing was is is written in the, in the Bible in, in in Genesis, right? Their blessing was what the fat of the earth, yeah. right? That was a blessing for you, Esau. Uh, our our forefather Jacob gave it to you. It was it was it was set in stone before the foundation of earth for you to get a blessing, Esau. All right. Now, however, he considered a blessing to be with us. You know, let it be so. But at the end of the day, the Lord still gave you something, mm -hmm. huh? For real, uh, let me finish this out. It says, thou art near in their mouth and far from their reins. Because it tell you in Psalms, uh, I guess Psalms 50, and I believe 16. This is what it means by thou art near in their mouth. Meaning that they have taken root, they grow, and yea, they bring forth fruit. Thou art near in their mouth and far from their reins. Let me see. Yep, that's it. It's Psalms chapter 50, verse 16. But unto the wicked, unto the wicked, go ahead. God said, Come on, what has thou do to declare my statue? Right, because the wicked they got the Bible in the White House. They swam in on a, they uh yeah. in on uh when Trump them get in the own White House. I believe they uh swore in on Apocrypha, man. All right, uh man, what is called? It's a word. Uh it's called oh. No, um, I can't believe I. It's 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 the uh, 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 it's a arraignment when they get in, man. Um, it's like a ceremony. Yeah, it's a ceremony. I forget the name. It's a lock you, bro. All right, but anyways, they uh, I believe they had the parker fault. Okay, the, when when they was a uh, 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 calling in the new president or whatever. I forget the name of that, bro. All right, it's a, it's a lock you. but it says uh. Can you read? It says, Or that thou shouldest take my covenant uh -huh. in thy mouth. Right. So they take their covenant, the Lord covenant in his mouth. Meaning, what, what's the Lord covenant? It was to uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Mm -hmm. Right? The law, statute, and commandment, the promises. They are taking it in their mouth, man. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Verse 17. Seeing thou hatest instruction. So saying they hate instruction, meaning thou art near in their mouth. And fall from their reins. Me and what? Me and they mouth, but not in their heart. All right, go ahead. And cast this my words behind thee. And cast his words behind thee. All right? So, though yet they speaking with their mouth, they, they lying, man. All right? They're lying. They're not, uh, they don't really believe in the laws, statutes, and commandments, man. But though yet they got in the courthouses, like they presidential on. Um, I gotta get that, man. Inauguration. Hey, well, I, I, I should have just man. said it. it was, I, I was, I was yeah, just, you know, the inauguration, man. All right? Before they go in the White House and swing on the Bible. So, this is what they're doing. They have the covenant in the Lord's mouth. You go in the, the judges so wicked and off, all right? They make every man put their hand on the Bible when yet themselves are lying. The lawyers are straight liars, man. Yeah. They don't the law keep is, the laws in the Bible. They don't keep the laws in the Bible. They don't keep the law of their own land. They'll go there and, and and break the law down just to get one of their friends off, yeah. off. You know, one of their own kind off. Sometimes they even do it for Jake. You pay him enough money, yeah, hey, just get this guy off. We know yeah. you heard him, but let's get him off. You know? But it says, but thou, O Lord, Jeremiah 12 and 3, know it's me. Thou has seen me. Now, Jeremiah was part of the righteous. So he's saying, look, though they take root and they grow and they bring forth fruit, but their heart is not towards you. The Lord, Jeremiah said, oh, Lord, you know it's me. My heart is towards you, mm -hmm. right? Thou has seen me and trained my heart towards thee. So the Lord said before he formed Jeremiah in the belly, he knew him. 
So, you know, he like, look, I was, you made me righteous. Pulled them out like sheep for the slaughter and prepared them for the day of slaughter. So if you follow the wicked, then you're going to get slaughtered. There's a day the Lord has put aside. Give me Proverbs 4 and 16, brother. 16 and 4, so lock it. And then we go. You, you finished in that? Yeah. Get 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 Proverbs three and three and um three and one. The whole lot. This is Proverbs three and three and one. It says, "Envy thou not the oppressor." Envy what? Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. Great, break, break it down. Yeah, envy thou not the way. Uh, so like an envy thou not the oppressor, because we don't envy with. You know, with the heathen have or with, you know, the riches that they get. Because we, we like I said before, we seek a, a a kingdom to come. The eternal riches, eternal glory. Not the temporal things, the tangible things. The the, uh, the fake fiat uh, currency, the, the paper money that they just print out of thin earth that don't have no real value. They don't use money. Yeah, they don't even They use make it. the world use yeah. that. You know they don't use money, right? No. They face on the money. That's... Mm -hmm. Money ain't backed up. It's paper. You can just take money and, and rip it up. Yep. Right. It's not backed by nothing, man. It's all it's dead people on the money. Anything money in the kingdom, which really the riches in the Bible is cattle, mm -hmm. and I, you know, I, you know, because you, you live off the, the food of the land, you eat, you sell, you buy. All right, that's real riches. Are called Abraham mm -hmm. was rich in cattle. Mm -hmm. All right, slaves, cattle, slaves. All right, we use gold and sell for trading and different things like that. But for the most part, the real money was slaves and cattle, man. Mm -hmm. All right, and they have us as slaves. So where's the real cattle? Because they feed us GMOs. You know, they're not right, man. All right, it says, Envy dog, not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. Because the ways of the end of him is that, man. Yep. All right, read the next verse. Verse 32. For the fraud is abomination to the law of Yahweh. Go ahead. But his secret is with the righteous. Right. So it says, for the Lord, uh, uh, in the NLT, such wicked people are detestable to Yahweh, but he offers his friendship to the godly. So he's friends with the righteous, man. All right. He got secrets with them. The wicked don't have his secrets. We could read of it. They don't know. We know his secrets, man. All right? But, yeah, man, envy. Don't envy the oppressor, man. Don't choose none of his ways. I can read one more verse. But... Yeah, I... Go ahead. Yeah, you can read that. Verse 33, it says, The curse of the Lord, Yahweh, is in the house of the wicked, but he blessed the habitation of the just. So, the Lord going to curse the house of the wicked, which when you read as Zechariah 5, the, the curse going over the earth is what the angels the angels is in the curse in the house of the curse of the Lord. And they're the curse that go over the earth. So the curse gonna get cursed, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By what? The angels. Alright? And who is the, the curse of Yahweh? Is the angels in the house of the wicked. The wicked is also cursed, man. Alright? They've been made out the way crooked. But he blessed the habitation of the just. So the Lord have a unique way of blessing the righteous. Alright? He have a unique way. Of giving the wicked head. Theirs, man. All right? But keep, you go to 35. Go down. Don't you want me to read? Just read. This is too, too Verse great. 34. Surely he spawned the, the word spawned unique. His, but he give it grace unto the lowly. Yep. The wise shall inherit glory. Mm -hmm. But shame shall be the promotion of fools. But shame shall be the what? Promotion of fools. So shame gonna promote the fools. All right? At the end of all things, fools are going to get disgraced, man. Mm -hmm. All right? And the, and the, and the righteous going to have it on. So, again, it looked bleak in the way we're going to receive and get ours, but we're not tripping. Their promotion going to be a demotion. It's gonna, <laughs> yeah, they're getting, a, they're getting promoted to get demoted. Yeah. That's why it's saying Psalms that the promotion comes neither from the east nor the west. All right? But the Lord, all right? It's the Lord that um actually um going to get a promotion, man. All right? Let me, let me get that, man. Yeah, this is... Yep, but shame going to be the promotion of fool. This is on um, Psalms 75 and 6. For promotion coming neither from the east nor the west, nor from the south. But our power is the judge. He put it down one and set it up another. And the one he putting down, 
is that that cup in the hand of the Lord, there's a cup in the next verse, and the wine is red. It is full of mixture, and the, he poured out the same, same. But the dregs thereof, all the wicked of the earth shall rain them out and drink them. Now, we drank a cup too, yep. right? That cup was a blessing unto us because we had to learn not to do wicked, mm -hmm. all right? That cup we drank, we drank it all the way down. But as it says in Lamentation, the um the uh the daughter the the daughter of Zion punishment is accomplished now. Yeah. All right. So now, all right, as we done drunk down all the slave, everything we going it's about to be reversed. Mm -hmm. All right. And now they gotta drink it out. Okay? So the horns of the wicked is gonna be cut off. You got that um precept? Brother? The proverb. And yeah, go ahead. And then we get to with the proverbs. Uh, um, 16 and 4. Get the Proverbs, uh, I mean, um, the Psalm 73, and we get out of here with that. This Proverbs 16 and 3. 4. Starting at 3. Not nah, 4, bro. Come on. Proverbs 16 and 4. Come on. The Lord had made all things for himself. Yep. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. So, he made all things for himself, even the wicked for the day of evil. So, they got a special blessing coming, man. Yep. It's all good. Yeah, they can live it up right now. Live it up, man. You know, your promotion is a demotion. <laughs> Ain't at all. All right, go ahead, brother. It's Psalm 73 and 3. It says, For I was envious at the foolish. Yeah. When I saw the prosperity of the wicked. So, but why the Lord tell you in Proverbs, in the next book over, and so, and, and when Solomon wrote that, what? Uh, envy not the oppressor and choose mm -hmm. none of his ways. All right. So sometimes we can be foolish. He was envy at the foolish. Remember, the promotion of fools is shame. Yep. All right? But watch, watch. you know, when David, because David's heart was after the Lord. So when he did get in the spirit, look what the Lord did. All right, but go ahead. When he saw the pros prosperity of the wicked. All right? You got the word you need? No, I ain't get it. Get it, bro. Read it out. Verse 4. For there are no bands in their debt. Yep. But their strength is firm. Because they are not in trouble like other men. It's as the scripture said. I was going to say that. Yeah. All right, come on, go ahead. Verse 5, they are not in trouble as other men. Yep. Neither are they plagued like other men. Yep, they're not plagued like other men. And what they mean by the other men, what other men plagued? Us, harmonies, sicknesses, different things like that. Who knows? As far as we know, they got all the herbs, the sciences of other herbs. They know, the, they understand mm -hmm. the thing. They probably don't even damn to get, they're going to die. You know, they probably rarely get sick. They go get our body parts, you know, whatever. You know, we know they get sick because we ain't going to put nothing past the law. But understanding little common colds and certain things like they ain't getting that shit, bro. Yeah, if they do, they they got, they eating the best, like, you know, they understand. The earth is giving it to the hands of the wicked. There it go. So the earth is giving it to, so the field uh, so serves the need, king. Yeah, we don't need plant field. Yeah, this, the field serves the king. Mm -hmm. All right? So anything that's grown in the field of the earth, it serves the king. Yeah. You know, they got he got all the herbs. He, he got everything. All right? That's it? I got that weird on. Um, prosperity. <laughs> Shalom. <laughs> Completeness. Soundness. Whatever. Yeah. I don't want to see anybody come out with the band and do that. It says completeness, soundness, welfare, and peace. Completeness mm -hmm. and number. Safety, soundness, and body. Health, peace, quiet, tranquility, contentment. Right? Peace from war. And they start the walls. They gonna start the one. Look at it on TV. Mm -hmm. You know, well, happy, right? Perfect, rest, safety, holy. Now, again, they, you know, they set apart and they protect it right now. So that's why David was envious, you know, at the foolish when he when he saw the prosperity of the wicked. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Now jump to uh twelve and go down. 
verse 12, Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches. Verily, I have cleansed my heart in vain and washed my hands in innocence. Right. This the ungodly who prosper in the world, they increase in what? Riches. And riches. Yep. Again, they blessings is vain. All right? Because you can't carry nothing over. You're going to come in this world naked as you came. So they hold enough riches just to swallow them up, as it says in Job. All right? They stuffing themselves down only to what? Regurgitate it up. All right, which it hurt to throw up. You ever get to the line yeah. under your stomach? It hurt after a while. Mm -hmm. They're going to throw up everything they ever devoured. That's from people to, you know, whatever you could come up with, man. All right? Lies, everything they vomit, they're going to have to throw it up, man. The Lord going to bust their stomach. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's inside joke. All right? Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Verse 14, for all the day long, have I been plagued? Wait, he said, Verily I have cleansed my heart in vain and washed my hands in innocence. Right? Yeah, because our heart is filled with the right things, righteousness, right, and washed his hands in innocence. He ain't gonna be, we're gonna be blameless at the end of the day. All right, go ahead. For all the day long have I been plagued yep. and chastened every morning. So we going through it. We got an unusual punishment, right? We got a father that actually loves us, he whipping us. All right, he got another creation he made. He letting them get away with all murder, man. Yep. You know, to a degree. And, it's, and we like, what, you know, David basically spied, Lord, what's up? Like, you whipping us down. You plaguing us down. Like, they ain't even <laughs> getting whipped, mm -hmm. you know? Well, go ahead. It says, verse 15, if I say, I will speak thus. Yep. Behold. I should offend against the generation of thy children. Right. So if he say he will speak about this, he going to offend against the generation of thy children, which, again, the gen the generation of the righteous, gone, you know, they, listen, you know what? It says in the NL, NLV, uh, if I had really spoken this way to others, I would have been a traitor to your people, man. All right. Go ahead. Saying these things. Go ahead. Verse 16, when I thought to know this, it was too painful for me. Right, because, you know, if we complain and say particular things, we could bring more drama, I mean, more things up on us, right? Heavier burdens, all right? So when you think about this, it's more painful to even go out our way to even do it. David said it's more painful to go out his way to even do this. Go ahead. Verse 17. Yep. Until I went into the sanctuary of the Most High. Until you went into the, the house of the Lord. Go ahead. Then I understood I their end. Then we understood their end. Like so them. until you go ahead. Then understood I their end. So, like so until we go into the saints wherever the heavenly father, then we're gonna understood understood their end. All right. And then when we started figuring out what we did, what we did wrong, mm -hmm. right? Who we was, all right, who we start to learn of the heavenly father, then we understood who gonna how the end of them gonna come. Mm -hmm. So it's a unique way that the Lord blessed us. All right. And uh, terrible things and righteousness has the Lord answered us, man. That's another unique way the Lord blesses. us. That's why the works of the wicked men getting works of the of righteous, then the works of the righteous getting the works of the wicked. All right? But the Lord don't say, well, it's a balance when you what? Flip it upside down. Mm -hmm. All right? I got that word for you, too. Go ahead, brother. Unique. This is the word unique. In the online etymology, it says single solitary, only, single, alone of its kind. Yep, so unique, solitary, single, alone of its kind. This, the curses we got was unique, brother. All right? Right? It's going to go on the other, other nations double fold, but it was written down in Deuteronomy to be uniquely, mm -hmm. sp specifically for what? A chosen people. Yep. For y'all. All right? So the Lord had unique blessings for us. The curses was even a blessing to us. And we and the reason why we're gonna understand it because we got those curses to get those blessings mm -hmm. from one to fifteen. Yep. Right? We had to work it backwards, in other words, to get it forward. Yeah, we to move start forward. From the bottom up. We had to start from the bottom up. Mm -hmm. Right? Go ahead. That's um, it. It says remarkable. Yep. Uncommon. Remarkable. Uncommon. All right. So the things that the these blessings was uncommon, but they was remarkable. All right. But again, 
The Lord have a unique way of blessing the wicked and the righteous, man. You know, y'all brothers got something? Yeah, that's it. All right, go ahead. So, you know, Lord willing, this was all edified. You know, the Lord did set the wicked in slippery places, as he read in Psalm 73 and 18. He casting them down to destruction. So when they get cast down, all right, one got to get lifted up. That's the last one I'm going to bring out. Men, when men get cast, not that one, when men get cast down. When a man get cast down, another one is lifted. This is our Job 22 and 29. When men are cast down, then thou shalt say there is a lifting up. Mm -hmm. You see? So when the men got to come down before that be a lifting up. And he shall save the humble person. Who's the humble? The righteous, the elect, man. The ones who've been, that, that word humble goes into humility, made low to the ground. All right? Those who have been contrite of a broken spirit. All right? Okay, so until, like David said in Psalm 147 and 6, the Lord lifted up the meek, he casted the wicked down to the ground. So we have to understand the balance of how the blessings, all right, uh, play in our favor, okay, better than the blessing that they receive right now. Yeah, though it's terrible, we still wait for we it. We still, because we're going to get it, yep. all right? It says 30, verse 30, Job 22 and 30, he shall deliver the islands of the innocent. Remember, David said, I wash my hands of innocence, mm -hmm. and, it's de and it is delivered by the pillars of thy hands. So, when men are cast down, then thou shalt see that's a lifting up. So, out of round right, it was edifying, man. So, next time, we'll give infinite honors and prayers to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, and Kai Wadash. I'm honest to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutation to the island that pushing the truth with sincerity. Till the next time, we'll see Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.